Oh, hey, so I know a lot of you are starting a new chapter in your life. Some call it college, some call it university, some call it high school 2.0. Really, high school never ends, you guys. This is a warning. So Keisha and I are here to give you tips on how to save money while you're at school. Um, speak for yourself. Now's not the time to boast about your net worth, Keisha. What did you say? Sorry, this tissue is really loud. Number one, I'm sure you already got to this part, but apply for scholarships. You might be thinking, I'm not gonna get it, but you'll never know unless you try. And then if you do get it, that's money that you don't have to owe when you're done with school to your student. I mean, I never really understood why people like get student loans. Why don't they just pay in cash? Why did I invite you here today? Because there needs to be at least one smart person in the video. I mean, it is about education. Right. Okay, fine. So once you get to college, I heard that most regular people can't afford books at, like from the bookstore because they're too expensive or something. Absolutely true. Uh, there's nothing out of the ordinary about that statement. Whatever. So I heard about this website called Slugbooks that compares prices for you so you can save money. Wow, that's actually really helpful. Can you pass me one of those tissues, please? Those are $100 bills. What did I say? Anyway, so find the ISBN number for the book that you need, search for it on slugbooks.com, link in the description box, and it will find the cheapest place for you to get it. You know, for once, Keisha, you're actually doing a good thing. Um, yeah, I also told you that those shoes you were wearing before were hideous and made you change them. What are those? They're loafers. Uh, yeah, they're low offensive. See, I'm a good person. Allegedly. Wow, I'm trying to tell some of my favorite people on here that they can find a $300 book online for $10 and all you can think about is yourself. Can I talk now? Yeah, because I'm considerate. Okay, so once you have your books that you got using slugbooks.com, right, you're probably gonna get hungry at some point, so we're gonna talk about food and you're gonna do some simple math. I love math. You do? Um, yeah, Nick, what, just because I'm pretty I can't like math? I didn't say that. You don't think I'm pretty? I, I didn't say that either. Wow, you're lucky I'm still here. I'm assuming that the math you're referring to is regarding adding up how much you would normally spend if you ate out every meal, and then in comparison to how much it would come out to if you divided the price of the meal plan by how many meals you projected you would eat by using it. I hate to say it, but Keisha's right again. You're welcome. Look up your school's meal plans, and then pick one that suits you best, and then make sure you use it, because I knew way too many people who didn't end up using their meal plans to their full potential. And so many places offer student discounts for things, even computers. So always ask. Exactly, and if you're looking for dorm stuff or supplies, make sure you look at which stores offer student discounts and which ones are having sales, especially right now, like every store is having a back to school sale, so make sure you take advantage of it. Yeah, I mean, a little internet research goes a long way. You never have to end up paying full price for anything, and don't forget about circulars or coupons. I am shocked to the core of my being right now. I mean, I would never use a coupon myself because I care about my social status, but you know, there she is. Oh, another thing you can do to save money is ask your dad if you can use his driver so you can save money on gas. You were so relatable for a second. Oh, or to save time getting to class, just use a heli. A heli? Uh, yeah, a helicopter, Nick. Are you dumb? One last thing. If you're down to your last million, it's okay to skip your monthly trip to Hawaii. Are you sure? Are you sure that's okay? I mean, it seems pretty important. It is important, Nick. Don't patronize me. So that's it. I hope we helped and inspire you to save those college dollars. Yeah, and I hope I inspired you to throw out those nasty shoes. Anyway, thanks for watching. I trapezoid you because hearts got too mainstream and I will see you in a couple days. Pieces! Hey, that's my line! Yeah, but I'm better at it. Turn on your location, bruh. I wonder what would happen if... Fine. Wait, how do I do that again? <laughs>